Good day guys, how are you doing today? Uh, so we'll continue with uh, um, tutorial. So today, um, we need to download uh, Primavera P6 on our computer. So it's absolutely free um, to download for training purposes on uh, edelivery.oracle.com website. But then if you want to use it for business, for your business, for your work, then you have to you know, uh, get the paid version. But then make sure you read the terms and conditions um, and you need to agree to them uh, while you are downloading the software. Okay, so if you've downloaded the software before or if you and um, or if you've got an account with eDelivery.oracle.com or Oracle before, then you can just click on sign in and you can log in with your details. But uh, for the sake of those people who have not got an account, so what you need to do is to click on create account. Okay. So I'll create an account. So here you want to put your email address, your password, your country, your job title. So you can just put a project planner if you're a project planner, your phone number, the company you work for, your address, uh, city, state, and zip code. Okay. So once you finish all that, when you've put all in the information, the next thing you need to do is just to click on create account. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, I'll, I'll see you in, in a bit. Yeah. Okay. So guys, uh, so when you've created the account, so you get this prompt. So it's telling you that you should check your email. Um, so they've sent the email of your login um, to your email address. And you need to click on that link to verify your email address. Then we can come back to the, the first page here that we were initially then login with the details okay so i'll go ahead and do that now and i'll come back later okay so guys yep yeah. so when you log in this is what you get um, this is the page you come to. So what you need to do is to um, search. Okay, you need to search for Primavera P6. And what you're looking for here is the project management. So this one that says Primavera P6 Professional Project Management. Okay, so you click on that. You can click on search button, but it's giving us what we need. So here, um, depends, you can download different versions. So the latest version as of the time of this video is the uh, version 22.12, okay, 22.12. So what you want to make, download here again, don't forget, is the project management. And look at this, it's a DLP. So that's a um, download package. So that's what you're looking for. You're not looking for REL release. No, you're looking for the download package, okay? Click on it. So when you click on it, as you can see here, uh, let's go uh, view item. So it's in your cart. So you click on continue. So when you get here, uh, all you need to do, we don't need the documentation, but if you need documentation, you can download it. But I won't click it for now. Then I want to make sure, as you all know, that Primavera pieces can only be downloaded to your Windows computer. Not you can download it on Mac, except you've got like Parallel Desktop or something on your Mac uh, book. That's how you can download you know, the software onto your uh, MacBook. But then, for this um, tutorial, so we're using Microsoft Windows 64 bits. So make sure that's selected. Then click on Continue. So here. Uh, make sure you go through the Oracle standard terms and conditions um, and some restrictions in there as well. I will tell you about how to use the software, you know, the license requirements, and all of that. So next thing you click on uh, review and accept the Oracle license agreement. Okay, so you go to the next page. So in this page, what you get is a um, Oracle Safety Delivery Cloud Survey. So if you want to complete the survey, you can go ahead and if not, you can just click on cancel. Okay, so here we've got three uh, information here or three packages that we might want to download. So you've got professional P6 
uh, Primavera P6 Professional Applications. You got Primavera P6 Professional Database and also the integration. So we don't want these two. This is the only one we want. So you, you've got two ways to do this. So instead that you can unclick this one and click on download. So it will only download this. But what I like to do, I like to right click on this and say save link as. Okay. So when you see save link as download, click on save. So I've saved it in my download folder. So what I need to do now is to go to my download folder, download, this is it here, okay? So you need to unwrap it. So what I like to do as well is to just create a new folder for it. This is installation Okay. So I'll drag that in there. That's my preference. So everything will be neat and tidy. So here you can extract here. Okay. So I've extracted here. So this is what I need. You need to extract it again. Okay. So now you've got this file. So this is the file you need to double click on. The one that says application. Okay. So let's double click on application. So what you want because you're not advanced user if you're an advanced user then you can go on that advanced but i'll just go for typical then click on install okay so wait for it um, to start you know, um, installing the software so what you want to do here you've got different options run standalone that's not a lighter so you can't do that run standalone database migration too that's not what we want to do we just want to run database configuration okay so just click on okay so when you click on okay um you get this prompt so if you've not got previous version of p6 on your computer this is what you get everything is blank but if you have had p6 in the past then you have some database here and you can create a new one for a separate version of that p6 so that means is that you can log into the old version you can log into, into the new version but in this case now we're just using the latest version if not go any old version so just click on hard so when you get here the first thing you need to do where it says oracle you want to click on standalone because this software is that we're downloading now for just for our training purposes and knowledge purposes it's just to stay on our computer we're not doing any epp anymore you know any cloud based um, usage okay so um so here the database alias so I, I will always like to say project management database or primavera database you can name that anything you want so add a connection to an existing standalone database so because like i mentioned this is just a new package on its own so i just say add a new standalone and connection okay and you click on next so here it's giving you a different option so you've got um, a login name your personal name so you can change your name here you can change your login name here if you want but for this purpose i'll just leave it as admin and also um, the password as well, I'll just leave as, as admin. So I've copied and pasted admin admin. So when you want to log in into P6, just make sure you write this somewhere. Just copy it in, in, a, in, a, in a notepad. So you, know, you don't forget what um, details that you've registered with, okay? So, um, so you've got the currency, we can change this later. Um, so I will leave it as it is. Then just click on next okay so here what you need to do is to save a location where you want your database to be uh, uh, situated okay so i'm fine to be honest i'm fine under my document folder that's fine with me so yeah if you still want to change this you can change that so that's what we want so the next thing we need to do as you can see it's a new connection just click on save so it says alias is saved successfully okay so that means yeah everything is perfect now so what you just need to do you don't need to do anything anymore you just click on close okay so when you click on close just go to your on your start um, icon here on your computer and just click on primavera peace professional peace is professional 2022 okay that's what you need to click on don't worry about all this we'll get on to those later uh, in our detailed course 
okay so just click on pieces professional 22 okay i don't need this so don't forget our login details that we created earlier on is admin so i want to use the same password as well admin so if you've got like different database you can log in into the, those database here but we don't have any we've only got one database that we created if you remember pmdb so that's fine language english just connect okay so there's a prompt here so it says the appropriate industry for your organization has not yet been selected in admin preferences note this admin preferences please contact your administrator okay because we are the administrator i think we can do this ourselves just click on okay so that's the first thing i would like to go and do just go to admin just go to preferences just go to industry and select this this is why we got our prompt yeah so if you've not selected any organization or any industry here you anytime you log into p6 you always get that prompt but now because we've selected what we need to select so just click on the close okay so here we are so we've got p6 ready to rock and roll um everything installed so you've got different you know sample projects that different eps in your program okay so um so yeah so there you have it so that's how you download p6 on your uh computer yeah um so if you want to close this just click on file exit okay and if you've got any pro uh project or program opened you need to just click on close all first that's a decent way of you know um, exiting remember p6 i would say so just but in, in this case now we've not got any project open so i'll just go on exit exit so yeah there you have it so thank you guys for listening so please um like share and subscribe to my channel thank you um if you have any question uh please drop that uh the question down in the comment below then i can you know um, reply to you as soon as possible so see you on the next one thank you cheers bye bye